Hello, this is Amanda from Multisoft Corporation, your MLM solutions provider. Today we're going to go over how to create a transition page. One of the most common questions that I have is, what if I want to put it all in one place after clicking on the Join Now button, which creates a distributor, what if I want them to be able to decide, do I want to be a distributor or a customer after clicking on that? So I'm just going to use that as an option, but the creating a transition page can be used for whatever you would like. So for this particular example, I'm going to create a transition page, so when you click on the join now, right now it takes you through the distributor process. I'm going to have a page that comes up before that that shows, would you like to join now as a distributor or would you like to join now as a customer? So right now, this is where it takes you when you want to become a distributor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the page key right here. And you can see it's enroll is the page key. So I'm just going to copy this, copy, and then I'm going to use a notepad and I'm going to paste it right here. So this will take me to my distributor page and I'll just go ahead and put distributor right here. And now I need to know where do I want it to take you for a customer page. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out because I know that the customer page is there when you're signing in. So I'm going to hit create an account. Alright, so here is the page key. I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole thing after a login. And we'll just copy and then I'm going to go ahead with my I'm just going to put, here's my notepad, and then right here I'll just put this is for customer, just so I know. All right, then I'm going to create my page. I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. All right, now let's go ahead and create my page. So I'm going to go to Website, Page Management, Site Pages. I'm going to do, a, I'm going to do Add Site Page. And you can call this whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it Transition Page. all the way across. I do want to make sure this is set to anonymous user and then I'm going to hit save. Right, and then I'm just going to search for that page I just created and you don't have to put the whole title in there and here's transition page right here so I'm going to click on preview edit and this is where I can create my two links one will take you to distributor one will take you to customer so I need to click on Edit Website, Edit Shared Layout, Create New Module, and I want to put HTML in here, and click on HTML Editor. You can name it. I'm just going to do Transition Page in here, and then Add. And once we're done with that, we can just exit out of this right here. All right, so I'm going to click on the drag and drop editor. I'm going to do a very basic example, but you can do whatever you would like. I'm just going to show you how to put the links in here. One will take you to the customer page, and one will take you to the distributor. All right, so I'm just going to pick one of these. It really doesn't matter which one I pick. We'll just do, we'll just pull this one over here. I'm going to do customer. And I'm going to change this to distributor. And then I'm going to remove this. All right. So just to make a make this easy, I'm going to show you how to do a link. So we're just going to highlight this. And then over here, you'll see the link. You're just going to click on it. And since this is my customer, I'm going to remove this right here. And I'm going to take my link that I saved for the customer and copy it. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing for distributor. All right, I'm going to remove this. And then I'm going to take my page key for the distributor that I have here, copy that, and put it right here. I hit OK. 
and then I can you know do different things with how it looks afterwards and however you want to do your page but this is basically just to show you how to do the links going to different places and then I'm going to hit save and exit and we'll kind of push that to publisher and I just want to test and make sure it works so let's make sure the customer takes us to the customer sign on and it does go back and let's make sure the distributor takes us to the join now and it does so the next step is to publish it so we're going to go to website publish content I'm going to change it to today click on search and I'm going to go ahead and publish it alright and then this is the last step I'm going to go to website menu management site menus and I'm going to look for the join now alright so let's go to English we're going to click on edit manage items and we're looking for join now right here so we're going to click on that edit content and we're just going to have where you click on that join now and instead of it going right to the distributor it's going to go to our transition page that we created and so let's go ahead and look for it it would be in the T's you can either click on T or you can scroll I'll go ahead and scroll here it is transition page I'm going to hit save. The last step would be to sign out and make sure it works as signed out as an anonymous user. So I'm going to go ahead and click on join now. Here's our customer. Click on join now. There's our distributor. All right, so that shows you how to create a transition page uh, with just be having two links go to different places where you'd like to, um, to register for this example. Please share this webinar training with your company administrators and support team in order to enhance the services provided to your customers and distributors. We appreciate your feedback and input. Please let us know if this helped and how we can improve supporting you. If you have any questions about this or any other trainings, would like to schedule one-on-one -on -one training with one of our CSRs, would like to speak to the Multisoft account executive, please call us at 1-239-945-6433 or submit help desk ticket requests at helpdesk.marketpowerpro.com.